This is Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. This broadcast on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, is being made possible by Hood Canal Communications, keeping our community connected since 1934. Mason General Hospital and Family of Clinics, now known as Mason Health. United Community, Empowered People, Exceptional Health. And our Community Credit Union. Community is in our name and in the work we do every day. Well, good evening and welcome to the gymnasium on the campus of Capitol High School in Olympia, Washington tonight. Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, goes on the road for a South Sound Conference boys high school basketball game featuring the Shelton High Climbers and the Capitol Cougars. I'm Diedrich Allen and you are watching the Art Community Credit Union pregame show. Shelton comes into the game 6-5 and five on the season, 4-1 and one in the SSC. High Climbers have a two-game win streak after taking care of North Thurston 63-23 Wednesday and handling Rochester 61-21 a week ago. Capital has an 8-3 and three overall record and is also 4-1 and one in the conference. The Cougars have dropped their last three games after opening the season 8-0. Capital is coming off Wednesday's 54-34 loss to Gig Harbor, at Gig Harbor, by the way. Uh, Cougars also fell to Skyview 54-45 last Saturday and a week ago lost to Fort Vancouver 67-58. Uh, Fort Vancouver, much improved team from a year ago. Capital has won the last seven games over Shelton. The last high climber win against the Cougars was December 11th, 2015. Tonight the teams are playing for second place in the standings behind Gig Harbor. Coming up in the R Community Credit Union pregame show, we talk with Shelton coach Sam Krieger. It's South Sound Conference Boys High School Basketball. Shelton High Climbers at the Capitol Cougars next on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. Since 1941, our community credit union has been focused on our members and helping you achieve your financial goals. At OCCU, we offer personal, mortgage, home equity, and business loans to meet your needs. Our top priority remains the same, providing personal, professional caring service to our members. Helping people is very gratifying. To be able to say I work at a place that does that every single day, I'm very proud to be a part of that. Become a member and become part of a growing, diversified family. When you call OCCU, you get a live person, not a recording. Call representatives like me are truly here for you. Dedicated to our community, last year OCCU employees volunteered over 1,700 hours to 43 service groups, schools, and community events. For over 20 years, we've been awarded the highest rating from Bauer Financial the nation's leading bank, rating, and research firm. Come see the difference and give OCCU an opportunity to earn your trust. So my name is Michelle Hamilton. I'm a family physician working at Shelton Family Medicine. Mm -hmm. So I went into family medicine because I like taking care of the entire family. Um, I really like taking care of children. Um, I'm interested in women's health and then also in um, geriatrics. And family medicine is really the only specialty where you can take care of the whole family. In Mason General, just everybody was incredibly friendly. Um, it seemed like it was a really close-knit community. Um, the staff had worked here a long time. Um, it seemed like everyone was really um, focused on giving good care and putting patients first. And welcome back to the uh, gymnasium at Capitol High School. Almost said the mini dome. We're not in the mini dome tonight. And this is the Art Community Credit Reunion uh, pregame show. 
Oh, about hmm, half an hour ago, not even, maybe 15 minutes ago, I had a conversation with uh, Shelton coach Sam Krieger. Coach Krieger, last couple of games, not much trouble for your team. Uh, what's your assessment to this point of how your, t your team played the last couple of games? Uh, we played with a lot of energy, a lot of hustle. Uh, we've been moving the ball well. Uh, defensively, we've been pretty stout, limiting teams to one shot and out, and then getting good shots on the other end and, and just take care of the ball. You know. Tonight, not going to be as easy as the last couple of games. Uh, what can you say about Capital? I don't know a ton about them. I know that they uh, got some good height comparatively to us. Um, I know that they just suffered a, a pretty big loss uh, on Wednesday to Gig Harbor, and so they'll be looking to come out strong here tonight. Your team healthy now? For the most part, yeah. We're, I would say we're probably about 80 in the 85% range, yeah. We still have a couple sick kids or kids that have been sick recently, but, but we're coming along. And the injuries are okay, right? Yeah, injuries are okay, yep. Well, short and sweet, good luck tonight. All right, thank you very much. That's just a coach, Sam Krieger. Short and sweet, not much to say. Uh, I don't think he was really pleased with the outcome of the JV game and all. It didn't look good. Uh, well, they, they just in the second half, the, the JV team just fell apart. I think that might have been his his change of demeanor from the time he got here and the time I talked to him. Jerry Apples, the guy uh, with me. Jerry, thanks for joining us in the broadcast today. Say something. <laughs> I sure would like to. And thank you, Diedrich. You know, it's going to be a big challenge tonight. Uh, obviously, uh, Capital has some height. They got a 6 7 center. But we came off an impressive win on Wednesday night. And like the coach said, everybody is just about 100%. Just except about. Except for a, co a couple of individuals. And you know, the other thing, I can't think of a better thing to do on a Friday night than watch two very good teams playing against each other and the intensity level will be great, and listening to a big and good, aggressive Capitol High School band. You can see the band across the way on the screen. Um, that's where we wanted to go to do our broadcast is up there. Right. Uh, Steven Taylor said, you don't want to be up there on the mezzanine. Uh, the, our band takes up a whole student section, and yeah, we have a huge band, and well, I don't think everybody's there for the band, and it's still a huge band. Well, if you remember, Diedrich, uh, when uh, Capital played uh, Shelton, uh, we watched the football game there at Ingersoll, uh, at Ingersoll Stadium, and mm -hmm. the band was just huge. Yes. So, yeah, they have more members, but, boy, that is still a, <laughs> big, still a, uh, big, a big group. A big group, and that's, you know, well, that's here nor there, nor there. We have a boys basketball game to get ready for. We've got starting lineups and the tip-off uh, moments away on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. This is the Our Community Credit Union pregame show. We'll be back in a moment. Life's just more fun with fast, reliable Wi-Fi. You can stream, share, game, try something new. But weak Wi-Fi spoils the fun. That's why you need managed Wi-Fi from Hood Canal Communications. The right equipment, professionally installed in all the right places, keeps your Wi-Fi powered party streaming strong. Call or visit Hood Canal online to upgrade your Wi-Fi today. Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, is the only source for live high school sports broadcasts in Mason County. Join us every week this school year for another exciting game. If you want to be part of future broadcasts, contact Mason Web TV right now and become a community broadcast partner. Join the likes of Hood Canal Communications, our community credit union, and Mason General Hospital and Family of Clinics in supporting student athletes. A simple phone call, text, or email can put you in the next broadcast on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. Everyone has dreams, but not everyone knows the steps they need to take to get there. At the Community Financial Center, we help members of our community credit union to work toward their dreams. Located inside the Shelton Mountain View branch, the Community Financial Center works with families to help them pursue their short and long-term goals. 
specializing in comprehensive financial planning, investment advisory services, insurance, and retirement planning. At the Community Financial Center, we work one-on-one -on -one with our community credit union members to help them identify their needs and their objectives. Together, we'll develop a set of strategies that seek your success. Isn't it time to set a path to your goals? Set up a free, no-obligation consultation at our Community Credit Union's Community Financial Center. It's your success. We just guide you towards it. And we're back here at Capitol High School. The uh, eight and three Cougars facing the six and five high climbers. Uh, Jerry kind of run it down for us about the challenge that's in front of Shelton tonight. Uh, the challenge for Capitol would have to be staying focused after that loss to Gig Harbor. Now I started watching a little bit of that game on the NFHS uh, network from Gig Harbor. Um, Really couldn't stomach it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, it's just uh, not well done because it's basically a camera that follows and there's no way to know what's going on. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we do the best to describe what's happening to let everybody know what's happening. Um, but, you know, they don't have that. Actually, I think they do because Gig Harbor has a uh, radio station. And sometimes you can hear somebody talking. But you can't understand them. It's too, too, too quiet. The PA is too far away. You can't really understand him. So it makes it very difficult as a fan or anybody watching to understand what's going on unless you're going to physically track it. And even then, it's a little hard. So, but, you know, I, I imagine that down the stretch, Gig Harbor just pulled away, uh, basically being in their own home gym. And, you know, there's a little home court advantage there, especially in Gig Harbor. Anyways, time for starting lineups, Jerry. All right. And uh, since Shelton is the visitors, I'm going to take them. Maybe. All right. So it's uh, Zach Jonker. He's a 6'3 senior forward. Ty Thompson, a 6'4 senior guard. Chucky Thompson, a 6'2 sophomore guard. Tyler Ald, a 6'0 senior guard. And Evan Clevenger, a 5'10 senior guard. And Jerry, you have the starters for Capital. I do. At one guard, a senior, number 12, Spencer Halstead. At the other guard, a senior, number 15, Connor Potkinjek. At one forward, a senior, number 24, Clayton Grady. At the other forward, a senior, number 33, Jake Bransma. And rounding out the starting lineup for the Cougars at center, a senior, number 44, Brandon Rydell. So it's Jonker, Thompson, Thompson, Ald, Clevenger for Shelton, Halstead, Popkin, Popkin Jack. That's going to throw me off all night. Uh, Grady, Bransma, and Rydell for the Cougars. We're a couple of minutes away from uh, the starting lineups being announced here in the gymnasium and, of course, a tip-off here. So we'll be back with more from uh, Capitol High School in just a moment. Neighbors help each other. It's how community works. And it's how we do business at Hood Canal Communications. We know you count on us for value-priced internet, TV, and phone service, backed by friendly local support. Your hard-earned dollars stay right here as we invest in our community, our people, and smart technology. Hood Canal Communications, keeping our community connected while being a good neighbor.
Hey, sports fans, do you want to know when and where your favorite teams in the South Sound Conference are playing? Who won the game last night? And what the current standings are? Well, it's easy to find out on sscathletics.org. The information is entered by athletic directors and coaches, so you know it's accurate and up to date. Making sscathletics.org the place to view official schedules, scores, standings, photos for all the schools, and all the sports in the South Sound Conference. Check out sscathletics.org, the official website of the South Sound Conference. Mason General Hospital and Family of Clinics now offers 3D mammograms. The new Selenia Dimensions 3D mammography system in the Diagnostic Imaging Department at MGH has ergonomic design for patient comfort, provides up to 40% reduction in false positive recalls, has a proven 41% increase in detection of invasive breast cancer, is FDA approved, and is superior to 2D mammography. Call today to schedule your mammogram. Mason General Hospital and Family of Clinics. Equal opportunity provider. Translation services provided. And we're back here at Capitol High School. Just ahead of the announcement of the starting lineups between the uh, Shelton High Climbers and the Capitol Cougars. And then we're going to get to the national anthem here shortly, aren't we, Jerry? Oh, we're going to go through the non-starters here. So we'll give you the starters one more time. It's uh, Halstead, Popkin Jack, uh, Grady, Bransma, and Rydell for the Cougars. For the uh, high climbers, it's Chunker, Ty Thompson, Chucky Thompson, Ald, and Clevenger. Well, while they're going to do the... Uh, festivities here. We'll take a yet another time out. We'll be right back with a tip-off between Capital and Shelton in a moment. Life's just more fun with fast, reliable Wi-Fi. You can stream, share, game, try something new. But weak Wi-Fi spoils the fun. That's why you need managed Wi-Fi from Hood Canal Communications. The right equipment, professionally installed in all the right places, keeps your Wi-Fi powered party streaming strong. Call or visit Hood Canal online to upgrade your Wi-Fi today. Mason Web TV powered by HCC is the only source for live high school sports broadcasts in Mason County. Join us every week this school year for another exciting game. If you want to be part of future broadcasts, contact Mason Web TV right now and become a community broadcast partner. Join the likes of Hood Canal Communications, our community credit union, and Mason General Hospital and Family of Clinics in supporting student athletes. A simple phone call, text, or email can put you in the next broadcast on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. Interesting. Love this generation, Jerry, because uh, who was it that came out? Uh, Spencer Halstead came out, stopped with the, with the uh, student body, took a selfie, and then came back out. It's kind of cool. <laughs> well, it's time for the national anthem, so we'll stand for that. Oh, boy.
basket to ready for some basketball. Shelton will come out in their uh, road of red with white numbers. Cougars will be in the white with the uh, maroon numbers and the gold trim and stripes down on the side. So we're ready for some basketball. Great place to be, as Jerry said, on Friday night. Rydell and uh, Ty Thompson will meet at uh, center circle to get this thing underway. I love how people come in late and walk right over everything. This gym is very, very small, really, Jerry. Yeah. You would think it would be a lot bigger. Here we go. Got cameras below. Ball's tipped up. Top to Jonker. Jonker out to Ald. Ald will set the play for the high climbers. First possession of the ball game. Up top to Chucky Thompson. Drive side of the paint. Kick it to the Ald. Up and around top. Jonker for three at the top. Nope, rims it off. Rebound pulled down by a Halstead. And here come the Cougars. Down to the box. And that's Bradsma. Out it goes to Grady. And it's knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Cougars. Hey. Cougar ball. And <laughs> Cherry, you're going to might have to stand up for this one. <laughs> It well, probably will not sit down until the first basket is made. Baseline inbounds to Rydell, out to Puck and Jack. And a turnover should be a high climber boss, first turnover of the ball game. So no score. Played almost 40 seconds here in the ball game. Here's Clevenger. Hands it off to Ald. Cross to Chucky Thompson to Ty Thompson. The spin to the uh, foul line, put up a runner on the side of the paint, missed it. Rydell will pull down the rebound. And here come uh, the Cougars. Halstead with it, bounces it over uh, to Grady. Up top, swinging around near side. Halstead. Up top it goes to Grady. Grady, a couple dribbles right to the hoop off the glass, a little too hard, tapped up and in by Rydell. And the Cougars score first. High climbers quickly back up to Ald. Up top to Ty Thompson. He's going to go one on one, had a lane cut off. Stops on the dribble, finds Ald. Ald almost lost the handle, and then he did. Rydell comes away with it, and then uh, Ald will uh, knock it out of bounds. First turnover for the high climbers. Here comes Halstead. High post feed, turnaround jumper by Bradsma goes in. And it's a 4 nothing lead early for Capital. Clevenger with the ball. Up top he goes. Swing it over to Jonker. Jonker down to Ty. Ty spins to the hoop alone, puts it up and in. 4-2. Nice Six. pass by uh, uh, Zach Jonker. And the Cougars have the ball in their uh, front court. Grady with it, swings it over to Halstead. No look pass down to Rydell. On the baseline, draws a double team, kick it out to Halstead for three. That rims off. Rebound, Ald comes away with it, tipping it away from his own player. Quickly up to Junker, Junker to the corner to Chucky Thompson. Chucky pull up jumper in the paint. No, rebound, Rydell had it, tapped it and controlled by Bradsma. And here comes Halstead. Cougars leading by two early. This is a pump and check. Gets the ball back, swing it over. Grady. Cross court it goes to Halstead. He'll take the three. He'll hit it. Five point lead for Capital early on. Clevenger crossing midcourt on the dribble. Swing it over to Ald. Ald finds Chucky Thompson. Gets a screen from Jonker, doesn't take it. Leave it to Clevenger. Clevenger up fake, drives in the paint, kicks it to Ald, Ald top of the key for three. It's off, Re rebound slapped and controlled by Halstead. A little quick on my camera there, Jerry. Halstead hands it off to Hopkin Jack, no look to the baseline, jumper, Bradsma, yes. Four points for Bradsma, nine to two, seven point lead for Capital. Shelton with the ball. Chucky has it, swings it over to Jonker, finds Ald, Ald drives the paint, pushes one up there, misses it, rebound pulled down 
by Rydell. And here comes Halstead. Grady with it up top to Popkin Jack over to uh, Halstead. To Grady open for three at the top. Rim that one off. Rebound Rydell in a crowd. Fade away, no. And Ty Thompson comes away with the ball. But I think they're going to get over the back. It's on Rydell, his first. Seven point lead here early for Capital. Shelton with the ball. Ty swings it over to Jonker. Jonker puts it on the floor, trying to get some space. He'll find Chucky. Chucky gets the, one of the big men on him. He'll drive, draw a double team, and he'll kick it to the cheerleaders, and that's a turnover on Shelton. So one apiece turnover-wise. Oh, actually, that was not. Two. Two, two on Shelton. Two on, well, actually, it wasn't the turnover there, so that's only oh, one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was a turnover. I thought it was, too. Sorry. Bounce it in to uh, Ty Thompson. He's hacked and fouled. No whistle, and the rebound goes to uh, Bradsma. And here comes Halstead. <laughs> Grady with the ball. Cross court, it goes to Halstead. To Popkin Jack, swing it over to Grady. Grady drives to the foul line. Throws it over to Popkin Jack. Side of the paint, it goes to Rydell. Off his foot, got it back. Kick it to the corner near side. Three on the way in the corner. It rattled in by Halstead. That's two threes for him. Yep. And here come the high climbers, trailing by 10. Clevenger kicks it to uh, Ty, Ty or Chuckley, Chucky. Chucky back out to uh, Jonker. Upper goes to Ty. Ty with 18 on the shot clock draws a foul. And I think that'll go on uh, Popkin Jack. Yes, it does. That's his first. Second team foul and a baseline inbounds for the high climbers. Chucky Thompson triggered the play right of the backboard. He'll throw it up top. To Clevenger. Oh, and a kick ball and no whistle there. Recovered by Brasma. Brasma swings out to the outside on the dribble. One hands it to Grady. Back over to Brasma for three. In and out. Rebound goes to Rydell. To Popkin Jack. And swing it over to Brasma. I'm sorry, Halstead, excuse me. Halstead with the ball. Now there's Popkin Jack. And down to the baseline. That play's been open. And missing the shot was Bradsma. Rebound goes to Jonker. And here comes Ty Thompson. Ty stops at the top of the key. He's going to go on Popkin Jack, and he's going to be draw the foul. There'll be three team fouls, and the person will go on whom? And that'll go on uh, Popkin Jack, his second. Try Andrews will step onto the court for the high climbers. And. Max Landers will step on for Capital. Baseline inbounds for the Climbers. Chucky Thompson triggered the play, bounces it into a crowd, knocked out of bounds. They're going to say that goes over to the Cougars. Halstead will slow the pace down, bringing it up the court. His team up 10. Into the paint, right out of the hoop. Dozen point lead for Capital. Shelton with the ball now. Clevenger drives into the paint. Bounce it to Junker. Junker trapped. Throw it out to uh, Clevenger and he'll get it up to Chucky. Chucky Thompson on the dribble to the foul line. Goes right to the box. Stumbles. Kicks it out to Junker. Junker will hold it. 14 on the shot clock. Here's Andrews with his first touch. And it off to Chucky. Chucky took some steps to no whistle. Out to Clevenger. Clevenger with six on the shot clock. He's way outside. He'll take the three. He hits it. Wow. That was way beyond NBA land there, Jerry. Yeah. Shelton now had a 1-2-2 press. Pull-up jumper falls off. And that was by uh, Halstead, recovered by Clevenger. Clevenger turning around, letting the pack catch up to him. Throws it over to Jonker. Jonker, quick corner, uh, pass to the corner to Andrews. And Andrews traveled. Charles Hurt will step on for Shelton. Chucky Thompson will sit down. Cougar okay. ball. 
three-quarter, one-two-two press. And they break it with a quick pass all the way up. And in, then it's Rydell with his sixth point. Here's Clevenger with the ball. On the dribbles around to the opposite side. Throw it over to Jonker. Jonker's got to take that shot when they give it to him, Jerry. Yes. Here is uh, Clevenger. Clevenger to the foul line to the side of the paint. Kick it to the top. Nobody there, which uh, Ty Thompson cracked it down. Ty's got to go. Ten on the shot clock. Drives a double team. Throws it to Jonker. Jonker in a crowd. It's going to spin to the hoop. It's rejected out of bounds by Rydell. Five on the shot clock. Nice pass, though, by uh, Ty Thompson. Grady will return for Capital. And sitting down will be uh, Connor Popkinjack. Baseline inbounds for the high climbers. Right of the backboard, five on the shot clock. Andrews has got to get it in. He'll throw it in the corner to Clevenger, actually off of his heads into the crowd. Fourth turnover for the high climbers. Now since it went out of bounds from the in from the in line, it's going to be Cougar Ball. Landers will trigger the play, get it in to Halstead. Back to Landers. Landers trying to avoid the double team, steps across midcourt, throws it over to Halstead. Halstead pulls up and throws a three at the buzzer and it goes off. Big quarter for the Cougars, 16 to five after one. We'll be right back. Hey, sports fans, do you want to know when and where your favorite teams in the South Sound Conference are playing? Who won the game last night? And what the current standings are? Well, it's easy to find out on sscathletics.org. The information is entered by athletic directors and coaches, so you know it's accurate and up to date. Making sscathletics.org the place to view official schedules, scores, standings, photos for all the schools, and all the sports in the South Sound Conference. Check out sscathletics.org, the official website of the South Sound Conference. Fast paced first quarter. Capital Cougars leading 16 to five. Not a good start for Shelton with only five points. And Ty Thompson has a basket and Ethan Clevenger has a three, that's it. The uh, Cougars have spread it around a little bit. Six points for Brandon Rydell. Six points for uh, Spencer Halstead. He hit three or two threes. So it'll be capital ball coming out of the timeout between quarters. Landers, uh, Grady, Rydell, Bradsma, and Halstead. Landers will inbounds it from the sidelines. He'll get it into Grady. Hand it off to Halstead. Over to Landers. Landers between the circles now on the dribble. Finds Hall, uh, Halstead. Halstead to the three-point arc. Lob it to Grady. Looking low, finds Rydell. Up top to Landers. Climbers are in his zone. Out it goes to Halstead for three. Yes. Nine points, three threes. The lead is 14. Largest of the night. Yeah, he's three for four from the three-point arc. Clevenger trying to attack the basket. Threw it away. And Grady's going to go in for the dunk. Oh, he blew it. <laughs> Bradsma comes away with the rebound. You know, get it out to Landers and now get it to Halstead. Halstead directing some traffic. Down it goes to uh, Bradsma. His turnaround jumper is short. Hurt with the rebound. Gets it to Ty Thompson to bring it up top of the key. Into the paint. Draws the double team, finds Hurt. Hurt attacks the basket. Now kick it out to Jonker. Jonker hands it off to Ty. Ty to the top of the key. Then dribbles over to the side. Up top to Jonker. Swing it over to... Uh, Clevenger now, Andrews has it in the corner. Back to Jonker, 14 on the shot clock, tie at the top. He's gonna stop in the paint, put up a shot. Missed it, rebound Landers for Capital. Here comes Bradsman, I'm sorry, Halstead. Why am I saying Bradsman? It doesn't even look the same. Jerry, the numbers aren't even close. High post feed to uh, Bradsma, and he missed the jumper of the foul line. Rebound goes to the climbers, here comes Clevenger. Clevenger, back up top to Ty Thompson. It's a scream from Hurt. And he'll blow by the double team right to the hoop, changing his hands, puts it up and in, and the foul. That's his second basket of the night. Foul on Capitals, Clayton Grady. His first, he's fourth, 
So Grady picked up his first personal and a fourth team foul. So uh, Bo Harvey will step on for Shelton. And somebody else came on, didn't they, Jerry? Well, I guess maybe not. <laughs> yeah, Hurt has been in for a little bit. I think you got here. Yeah, we got him. I'm talking about Cougars. 32 is in there. That's uh, Andrus Engelholm. Engelholm, excuse me. Free throw by Ties off. Rebound. Engelholm holds down the rebound. Here comes Halstead. We bounce it over to Landers. Back to Halstead. Near side to Brasman. Down to the baseline to Engholm. Throws it up top to Landers. Way outside for three. Off the back of the iron. Bo Harvey with the rebound for Shelton. Oh, he threw it right in the hands of uh, Rydell, who hustled back defensively. Yeah, six turnover for the high climbers. Only one for Capital. Here's Halstead with the ball. Swing it over to Landers. Halstead in the corner for three. No, rebound. Tracked actually bounced all the way to Landers near midcourt. Swinging over to Halstead. Halstead, no looks down, and he throws it right to Chucky. Is it Chucky Thompson back in the ballgame? He sure, sure is. There is Bo Harvey changing direction up top. Oh, my goodness. And this will be a foul on who? I guess it's going to be a foul on uh, Capital. I can't believe that call. That'll go on Wydell. That's his second 15 foul. Mason Kramer will step onto the court for Shelton, and a timeout has been called by the high climbers. That's a way to bail out a turnover, Jerry. It's a yes. short turnover and an easy basket. I was just about ready to mark down a turnover. Turnover there. and a two points. So we'll keep it here with the 12-point capital lead. Second quarter action. Climbers only have seven points in the uh, half so far. That uh, doesn't bode well while the... Uh, Cougars have uh, 19. It'll be Climber Ball, their back court. I don't know if technically that shot clock should have been reset, but it is. I don't think a possession has been changed here. What's interesting, Shelton has not committed a foul yet. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I was going to point that out, but you know that broadcaster. I know, I know. <laughs> I don't want to jinx it, buddy. Okay. Here's, here's Bo Harvey bringing the ball up for the high climbers. Hand it off to Andrews. Trey dribbles in. No looks to pass down to Kramer. He loses the handle out of bounds. Well-designed play, just poorly executed, Jerry. Yeah. Just I mean, they're running their offense fairly well, like you said. Landers will get the ball back from Halstead, and then he'll get it back to Halstead, step across midcourt. And then Halstead loses the handle on the ball. That'll go out of bounds, and that'll be only the second turnover by third. Third. Oh, that's right. Yes, you're right. That's why Jerry's here. He keeps me honest. <laughs> hey, most of the time it's the other way around. <laughs> Here's Harvey with the ball for the climbers. Trailing 19 to 7. 4.38 to go here in the half. Harvey stops on the dribble, throws it over to Chucky Thompson. Don't look that. They're not taking the screens. Here's Harvey to the foul line. Throw it out to Kurt. Kurt will take the three. Rims that one off. Rebound Landers for a capital. And here come the Cougars. Up a dozen. All stay between the circles. There's Rydell. Draws a triple team. Kick it out to Landers in the corner. He'll dribble out of that corner. Reset. 20 on the shot clock. Here's Halstead. Throw it into the near corner to Bradsman. Try to get it to Ingholm off his hands. Turnover. Here comes Mason Kramer for Shelton. Andrews over to Chucky Thompson. Chucky's going to go to the hoops. Slip and step. Yeah, traveling violation on Chucky. He slid, and that's a turnover on the climbers. Ty Thompson will step in for Charles Hurt. And uh, Popkin Jack is back in for Capital. Ingholm will sit down. 3.46 to go in the half. Capital with the lead in the ball. They're up 12. Bradsma bounces it up the sidelines to Halstead. Then we have the Landers to set up the offense. Oh, just Halstead. There's Popkin Jack to Landers. Oh, hey, outside for three and in. Wow. 
Here's Mason Kramer. And now Ty Thompson to the foul line, trying to find a seam. He'll drive to the hoop over the big man, drops it in. Ty with a sixth point tonight. Bradsma gets it up to Popkin Jack. Hands it off to Halstead. And a turnover. Here comes Ty Thompson. Stops, has a guy on his back. He'll put up a little runner. Uh, got his own rebound. Out it goes to Kramer. Kramer takes the three and hits it. That's his first basket. Here comes Landers the other way for Capital. To Halstead, set the offense. 2.35 to go in the half. 10 point lead for Capital. Another turnover. Here comes Ty Thompson. Going to go one on one. Banging body, spins to the hoop and in. A Beautiful move. Yeah, 30 second timeout called. I was wondering when that was coming. A 15 point lead down to eight. That's pretty impressive in a short amount of time, Jerry. Yeah, what a beautiful move by Ty. I mean, he, he takes it to the hoop better than I've seen almost any person in this league. And of the 14 points for Shelton, Ty has eight of them. This is a very interesting atmosphere, Jerry. Oh, I don't know, interesting. This is a good atmosphere. The, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Ty is four for eight yeah. uh, from the field. So it'll be uh, Cougar ball coming out of the timeout after the made basket off the turnovers. And how many turnovers does Capital have now? Capital has now got six uh, turnovers. They've uh, picked up a couple real quickly there. Looks like the same lineup as before the timeout. Also gets it back to Landers. Landers. Climbers are just there to bother the, the play up the court. Bradsma came out of, from down on the box to get the ball. There's Landers with it far side, up top to Popkin Jack. Back to Landers. They're letting him shoot from way outside. Oh. He hits another one. It's his second three in the ball game. Kramer over to Chucky Thompson. Handed off to Tyler Aldi's back in there for Shelton. Oh. Ty and, Ty and Tyler could just a miscommunication there as uh, Ty was heading to the bucket and Tyler thought he was heading out and that's a turnover. Clevenger quickly up off the bench replacing uh, Ald. Under two minutes to go here in the half. Actually 145. Landers with it, swinging in the corner to Halstead, to Popkin Jack. Into the corner near side. Right out and up around to Landers. Over to Halstead. And here is Landers outside again. That one's an air ball. Saved in bounds, but right to uh, Trey Andrews of Shelton. Up to Kramer. Kramer stops. Ooh, got away with the travel there. There's to Andrews. Over to Ty. Ty pull up jumper inside the arc. Hits it. Here comes uh, Landers, actually, back to Halstead. Over to Landers. Climbers are in this, uh, what, a 2-3 zone, Jerry, and it's worked okay. It just leaves the outside open. There's Landers, and he'll shoot from way out there. Pumpkin Jack, near side, Halstead, down to the baseline. Bradsma, jumper, yes. Bradsma. Give him six points. Ty Thompson with the ball, trying to go right back, goes right to the hoop, going by everybody, up and in. He's having a big quarter, Jerry. He's six for 10 from the field. Halstead brings it across midcourt, under 30 seconds to go in the half. Halstead and Popkin Jack are exchanging passes. <laughs> Kind of faked uh, Clevenger out of his shoes there for a second because he didn't know where the ball was. Cougars are going to hold for a last shot, about two-second difference between game and shot clock, as you can see. Here's Halstead. He's going to drive baseline. Hook it to the middle, and they're going to wave off that shot. It's a foul before the shot. I believe so, and this is going to be the climber's first foul, Jerry. Yes, it will be. And that will go on... Chucky Thompson, his first. Baseline inbounds to Rydell, out to Halstead for three in the corner. That's an air ball, and that'll end the half. 
Cougars come out of a, will come away with a 27-18 halftime lead. They were up 15 in the second quarter. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back with some halftime activities here at Capitol High School. My name is Matt Woods. Uh, I'm the new podiatrist taking over for Dr. Rice. Um, I know that he's a very well-liked podiatrist and I'm very, very happy to be able to take over his position here at uh, Mason General Hospital Ankle and Foot Clinic. I just want everyone to know that I'd like to treat all my patients like they were my friends or my family. Um, you know, I wouldn't do anything to a patient that I wouldn't do to myself. Um, I, I just think that having a good rapport with your patients and the trust is necessary and um, you know I can do anything from, from toenails to giant fractures to uh, arthroscopic procedures. There's so many great things about life in Mason County and Hood Canal Communications is proud to be one more. Headquartered in Union, we offer the speed and reliability your family needs backed by hometown service and support. Whether you need to just check email or power all those Wi-Fi devices around your home, HCC has the right package for you. Stop by one of our friendly offices, call or visit hcc.net to learn more. Hood Canal Communications, keeping our community connected. Mason Web TV powered by HCC is the only source for live high school sports broadcasts in Mason County. Join us every week this school year for another exciting game. If you want to be part of future broadcasts, contact Mason Web TV right now and become a community broadcast partner. Join the likes of Hood Canal Communications, our community credit union, and Mason General Hospital and Family of Clinics in supporting student athletes. A simple phone call, text, or email can put you in the next broadcast on Mason Web TV powered by HCC. Hey sports fans, do you want to know when and where your favorite teams in the Olympic League are playing? Who won the game last night and what the current standings are? Well, it's easy to find out on OlympicLeague.com. The information is entered by athletic directors and coaches so you know it's accurate and up to date. Making OlympicLeague.com the place to view official schedules, scores, standings, photos for all the schools and all the sports in the Olympic League. Check out OlympicLeague.com, the official website of the Olympic League. Mason General Hospital and Family of Clinics now offers 3D mammograms. The new Selenia Dimensions 3D mammography system in the Diagnostic Imaging Department at MGH has ergonomic design for patient comfort provides up to 40% reduction in false positive recalls, has a proven 41% increase in detection of invasive breast cancer, is FDA approved, and is superior to 2D mammography. Call today to schedule your mammogram. Mason General Hospital and Family of Clinics, equal opportunity provider, translation services provided. Well, we're back here at uh, Capitol High School. I'm having some issues with my graphics, Jerry. Nothing wants to load up, so uh, we'll just go without it. Um, it's 27 to 18. Uh, the Capitol Cougars are leading on their home court. They did it behind the nine points from uh, Spencer Halstead. He hit three threes, six for Max Landers. Had to hit a couple of threes, six for Jake Bradsma. And six for uh, Brandon Rydell. For Shelton, they're being led by Ty Thompson. He has a dozen points. Three for Ethan Clevenger and three for Mason Kramer. And Jerry, you have some statistics? Go ahead. Thanks, DJ. Uh, one of the reasons why this first half went so quick was there's very few fouls. Okay, here are the statistics. Four. The Capitol Cougars 
They were 11 of 25 from the field for 44%. They made five of 11 from the three-point arc. They had six turnovers, and a couple of those occurred very quickly at the end of the first half. And the interesting thing is they didn't shoot a foul shot. <laughs> That's a good uh, observation, Jerry. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate that. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, the Shelton High Climbers were 8 for 17 from the field for 46%. They had nine turnovers, and they were 2 for 5 from the three-point line. What's interesting is uh, Ty Thompson is the only one that made a uh, two-pointer. Uh, he, of course, was six for 10 uh, from the field. And uh, Ethan Cleveger and uh, Mason Kramer Five, both had a three-pointer. All right. Two, so that's my statistics. <laughs> okay. Well, we're at halftime. They're having a little scrimmage here, I guess. Uh, white and red future Cougars, I suppose, here at halftime. But it's uh, 27 to 18 at the half. Capital on top. We'll take another timeout. We'll be right back. This is uh, Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. Frustrated by rising cable prices? You're not the only one. As your local cable TV provider, we work hard to give you the channels you want to watch the local news, enjoy family night, and cheer on your favorite sports team. We also fight to keep your rates fair, but at the negotiating table, large corporate broadcasters demand higher fees for their programming. As TV viewership goes down, broadcast rates continue to go up. It's not fair. None of us should cover their losses. Visit KeepTheConnections.com for more information on how we're working for you. Everyone has dreams, but not everyone knows the steps they need to take to get there. At the Community Financial Center, we help members of our community credit union to work toward their dreams. Located inside the Shelton Mountain View branch, the Community Financial Center works with families to help them pursue their short and long-term goals, specializing in comprehensive financial planning, investment advisory services, insurance, and retirement planning. At the Community Financial Center, we work one-on-one -on -one with our community credit union members to help them identify their needs and their objectives. Together, we'll develop a set of strategies that seek your success. Isn't it time to set a path to your goals? Set up a free, no-obligation consultation at our community credit union's Community Financial Center. It's your success. We just guide you towards it. Dr. Iris Mallet. I'm a pediatrician here at Oakland Bay Pediatrics. So I was born in the Philippines. I grew up in the Philippines. A lot of my, or a big part of my medical influence came from my parents. They're both um, physicians. Mason General offers not just outpatient, but there are inpatient work, nursery work, and our nursery here is very busy, and I like that. I like having newborns. I like seeing them for their well child check. It's important to be um, seeing them the first two years of their life. I admit, I did try another TV provider. It sounded like a great deal. But I quickly realized it wasn't. When I read the fine print, I was locked into a long-term contract with a huge cancellation fee. So I came back to HCC. They're more reliable, the service is local, and I save bundling internet and phone with them too. And I'm a lot happier now. Great service from a local company. Stay with HCC. This broadcast is copyright protected by DigiProof on behalf of Diedrich Allen and Mason Webb TV, powered by HCC, and is intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of its contents, pictures, descriptions, and accounts without the consent of Mason Webb TV, powered by HCC, MasonWebTV.com, and Hood Canal Communications is prohibited.
Well, we're back here at Capitol High School. Still working on some issues, so. <laughs> we're about ready to start here. So it'll be uh, Ald, both Thompsons, Jonker, and Clevenger on the court for Shelton to start the third quarter, trailing by nine. Tyler All driving to the hoop, puts it up, missed the shot, and Grady can't handle the rebound. It goes out of bounds. So it'll be baseline inbounds for Shelton. Since my camera got bumped in halftime, everything's been off. <laughs> mm. So it looks like Chucky will inbounds and throw it up top to Jonker. Hand it off to Ty and give it to Clevenger to set the play for Shelton. Here's Chucky Thompson to Tyler Ald up top. High post feed to Ty. Ty up fakes, trying to go spinning. Ooh, rejected by Rydell, saved in bounds. Goes right to Clevenger, to Jonker, to Chucky Thompson. Ten on the shot clock. Chucky's going to take the three and hit it. Capital was in a 2-3 zone there. Uh, maybe trying to cut off some of that... Uh, here goes uh, Halstead oh, yeah. to the baseline. Slides it down to uh, the big man, Rydell, up and in. His eight points. Chucky Thompson quickly up the other way for the high climbers. Here's Clevenger. Gets a screen from uh, Ty Thompson. Throw over to Chucky Thompson. Chucky's got a lane. He'll drive in, leave it to the baseline. Junker out to Clevenger. Clevenger to the paint, back to Junker. And now to Chucky and Ty. Ty's going to go. Steps back for a long two at the foul line. That one rimmed off. And here comes uh, Halstead. Under six and a half to go, third quarter, 29 at 21. Capital with a lead in the ball. Side of the paint feed to Rydell. Stripped of the ball. Here comes Ty Thompson. And Chucky with it to Tyler Ald. Laces it to the foul line, and that is Ty. Ty's going to go on uh, Popkin Jack. Out it goes to Jonker. To Chucky, 17 on the shot clock. Chucky trying to drive, guarded by Bradsma. Handing off to Clevenger. Clevenger fakes the baseline pass, and then he's going to go to work. Stops at the foul line. Finds all. Five on the shot clock, back to Clevenger. Four on the shot clock, got to get something up. Here's Chucky, claw, shot clock. Oh, he gets it up, but it doesn't hit the rim, and that is a shot clock violation. And we're going to have a timeout. So 30, so we'll keep it here. Jerry, if you have anything to say, feel free to say it. I'm going to try and get my okay. <laughs> clock back here. Uh, Capital went from a 2-3 uh, zone into a man-to-man. -man. So uh, Shelton has been playing a 2-3 zone. Uh, and it's very effective. But you do see the height advantage that Capital has uh, getting the ball into uh, a Brandon Rydell once in a while. Okay, I think I got everything back and working. Yeah, and it looks like uh, Shelton is going to be going into a 2-3 zone. Or excuse me, 2-3 press. No, I'm sorry, 2-2-1, two, two, Jerry, actually. Yeah. They it might have morphed a little bit after the ball got in. Yes, down. you're right. You're Here's right. Rydell to Halstead. Bounce it over to Grady. And swinging around, here's Halstead driving baseline. Pull up jumper on the baseline, hits it. 11 points for him, and it's a 10 point lead. Clevenger quickly up to the court for the high climber. Swing it over to Chucky Thompson. To Ty Thompson. Out to Clevenger. Ethan on the dribbles, hands it off to Ald. Ald one dribble, guarded by Grady. Threw it in the hands of the Halstead. Halstead to the baseline on the dribble off the turnover. That was a reset. Throw it to Grady. To Popkin Jack. And there's Grady down to the corner. A little tap to Rydell up. And missed the shot. Junker with a rebound. Look at it to Ty Thompson. Up it goes to Chucky. To Clevenger in the corner near side. To Jonker. 
to, to Chucky. Four and a half to go, third quarter. Hook it to Jonker. Jonker will take that three, it's short. Rebound is Rydell. Rebound Rydell. And Halstead is going to slow the pace down. Cougars have led by 15 in this ball game. They're up 10 right now. Grady with the far side into the corner to Halstead. Extra pass down to Bradsma. His jumper fell off. Rebound goes to uh, Clevenger. He'll get it up to Ty Thompson. Ty to the top of the key, skipping around, looking for a lane. Finds Jonker, quick pass over to Chucky. Chucky drives baseline, gets it in the middle, stripped by Popkin Jack, and it rolls right to uh, Halstead. Quickly up to Popkin Jack, back to Halstead. To Popkin Jack, to Rydell, stripped of the ball, but saves it. And Grady, quick pass, three on the way by Halstead. That rims off. Chucky Thompson pulled down the rebound after a little push. Chucky's going to go to the paint, kick it out of the corner, and ooh. Oh. Jonker just took too many steps before he put the ball down on the floor, Jerry. Really tight on that. So Andrews and Kramer will step on for Shelton. They're calling that pretty close. They've been doing that pretty consistently throughout the season, except for the girls came on Wednesday night. Yeah. Oh, nice find to Rydell. Up and in. Off the press, 10 points for Brandon. And here's Clevenger quickly the other way for Shelton. 12-point lead for Capital. Out it goes to Kramer. Kramer got away with a walk there. Up top it goes to Chucky over to Clevenger into the corner to Ty. Ty fakes baseline, steps out. He's got a mismatch. Got Poppin' Jack on him. Off the glass, high and in. 14 points for Ty. And again, the lead is 10. Under three minutes to go, third quarter. Capital with the lead in the ball. Popkin Jack with it, far side. Throws it to Grady up top, fakes the three, swing it over to the corner, open Halstead, three off, rebound. Uh, Ty Thompson. Ty to the foul line, hesitates, draws a double team. Leaves it for Mason Kramer to Chucky Thompson for three. No. Rebound goes to Grady. 2.20 to go in the third. Halstead will swing it over to Pumpkin Jack. To Grady driving baseline. Finds Rydell open on the box. Lays it up and in. 12 points for Rydell. Two minutes to go. 13 point lead. Here's Andrews out to Clevenger. Clevenger drives side of the paint, steps back at the foul line, steps by the defense, puts it up short. Rebound goes to Halstead. Halstead rips down the rebound and comes up the far sidelines. Cross court it goes. Pumpkin Jack looking for Rydell, and there's going to be a push on Kramer. That's his first. Bo Harvey will step on for uh, Shelton. That's only the second foul uh, <laughs> committed by the high climbers this whole game. Yeah, first in the second half. Here's Halstead. Over to Landers, he checked back in. Back to Halstead. To Landers, Popkin Jack pass to uh, Bradsma. His jumper contested, but he nailed it. Eight points for Jake. And leads up to 14. Here's Ty Thompson. Minute 14 to go, third quarter. Tied to the foul line. Spinning, stopping, fading away, and hitting. 16 points. And a near steal. Rydell comes away with it. Here's Bradsma. Here's a Landers. And Landers will step back to the midcourt circle and set the offense up. They're going to hand it to Halstead. Halstead skips his way over to the far side, swings it to the baseline corner. There's Bradsmo with a three that's short. Ball goes all the way out to Landers. Here's Pumpkin Jack back to Landers. High post feed, quick pass out to Halstead. Swing it over to Landers. Here it goes to Popkin Jack through the hands of Rydell, picked up by Kramer. Kramer gives it up to Ty Thompson, draws a crowd, throws it over to Kramer to Trey Andrews. Andrews drives, stops, bounces it over to Kramer. Kramer 
Oh, off the foot of Bradsma out of bounds. Out of state with the high climbers. 16.9 seconds remain in the third quarter. Engholm will step on for Capital, replacing Rydell. Bo Harvey will trigger the play from the sidelines. Foul line extended right in front of his own bench. Throws it into Ty Thompson, side of the paint, jukes and jives, kicks it out. Andrews takes the three. Missed it. Rebound tracked down by Harvey, saves it inbounds to Ty, and then he'll oh, lose the ball out of bounds as uh, poor uh, Harvey took a little push in the back, but no whistle. And Ty Thompson is talking to the uh, referee, pleading his case, and he says no with an emphatic no. Ingholm to Popkin Jack down to the baseline. Bradsma buzzer, no, and that'll be three quarters. Cougars up 37 to 25 on Shelton tonight. We'll be right back. This tuna can looks like it's ready to be recycled, but is it? Let's shine a light on this perplexing mystery of modern day recycling. Let's look closer. Oh yeah, this can of tuna is not empty or clean, so it's not recyclable. But all you gotta do is empty it out, give it a rinse, and then it's ready for the wonderful bin of recyclability. Do the right recycling thing. Empty, clean, dry, it matters. Fourth quarter about to start, Jerry. Well, the Capital Cougars have stretched a nine-point halftime lead to 12 points. They've led by as many as 15 in the ball game. Cougars will have the ball coming out of the timeout. They have uh, Popkin Jack, Landers, Bransma, Ingholm, and Halstead. Landers will get the uh, sideline inbounds trigger. Referee says come to the back. Court young man. And I'll get it in to Halstead. Clock started a little early there, Jerry. <laughs> Ball wasn't in play and the clock was already running. That's interesting. <laughs> and that's what happens with Good Ron observation. Ron. Good observation, yes. Bradsma turn around, jumper, missed it. Rebound goes to Chucky Thompson. Climbers have Harvey, Andrews, Kramer, and Chucky with the three at the top. Nope. Rebound goes to Halstead. There's Landers with it to Popkin Jack. High post feed knocked away. Good quick hands. I think that was uh, Ethan Kramer, or yeah, Ethan Clevenger. And there's Kramer taking the three at the elbow and hitting. The second three in the ball game. Yeah, he's two for two from the three point arc. Ooh, Ingholm is going to be fouled by uh, Bo Harvey, his first. Only the second whistle in the, the half second half on either team. Hate to say it, Jerry, I don't think we have any of our streams going here. But we'll keep going. Yeah, that's only the third foul the whole game for the high climbers. So Halstead will get it into Bradsma. And get it right back to Halstead. Hopkin Jack. And here's Rydell swinging over to Halstead. Halstead guarded by Chucky Thompson. Up top to Landers. Landers steps back, throws it over to Popkin Jack. To Bradsma. To Landers. He'll take the three. It's open. It's in and out. Rebound goes to Bradsma. Bradsma drives baseline, puts it up and in. Jake with his 10th point tonight. Clevenger with the ball for Shelton. Yeah, Braswell is 5 for 12 from the field. Here's Ty Thompson trying to go to work at the top of the key. Throws it over to Chucky. Chucky to Kramer. Kramer looking low. Puts it on the floor. Goes by the defense. Bounces it down to Ty. Out it goes to Clevenger. Clevenger for three. No. Rebound. Landers had it. He's going to be fouled by Harvey over the top. That's two on Bo. So the whistles are going to start coming out here. 39-28 is the score. 
8.05 to go in the ball game. Capital with the lead in the ball. Here's Landers. Max will get it to Halstead. He'll turn and shoot three and hit it. It's his fourth three of the night, Jerry, and it's just starting to light up. That is correct. He is four for nine from the field. That's a very pretty shot, too. Here's Chucky Thompson trying to dribble, penetrate on Rydell, the big man all over him. Chucky trying to get some space, got to get rid of it. He'll throw it up to the midcourt. And here's Harvey to Kramer for three. No. Ty taps it out, and Clevenger tracks it down to Harvey. Reset of the shot clock. Here's Bo to the foul line. Stops, finds Ty. Ty with a push in the back by Popkin Jack. And that'll be his third, is that right? It sure is, and that's the first whistle on Capital. That was a beautiful pass by Bo Harvey. So baseline inbounds for the high climbers. Harvey will lob it in. Short little lob to Ty Thompson working. He'll just extend for a long two. His short rebound Popkin Jack. 5.15 to go in the ball game. Capital can slow things down. I got to tell you, Jerry, they really have responded to from their loss to Gig Harbor. The Cougars have. Side of the paint feed, Rydell. 14 points for Rydell. And yeah, it's a nice pass by Spencer Halstead. Here's Chucky Thompson. Finds Kramer. Lob it to Ty Thompson on the box, far side. Backs down, drives a thing, drives a crowd there. Three guys with it and a foul drawn. Yeah, they triple teamed it there. <laughs> they did. 16-point lead for Capital, their largest of the night. Baseline inbounds for the high climbers. Harvey will trigger the play right of the backboard, gets it into Chucky Thompson, finds Ty. Ty at the foul line, draws two guys. Then about four around him. Somebody's open. There's Kramer. Kramer for three. That's off. Rebound Ty over the top, and he ripped it away. He'll reset. Ty trying to take this game in his hands. Gets a screen from his brother, and he'll bang bodies into Landers, and Landers is going to draw his first personal, third team foul. Yeah, it's amazing. When Ty gets that ball inside the key, they've got three people on him. Three, four that four. last time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shecky will get it in to Ethan Clevenger, get the ball back. He'll lob it back to Ty. Ty one-on-one -on -one with Popkin Jack. Lot, no, actually, that's Bradsma lost the handle. Kick it out to... Uh, Harvey for three, <laughs> it's it. It's his first points of the night. 4.15 to go in the ball game. Capital with the lead in the ball. Halstead barking out orders, crossing midcourt. And an offensive foul, he pushed off Harvey. Spencer's first personal. 4.07 to go in the ball game, 44-31. Capital with the lead, Shelton with the ball. Clevenger in backcourt. Steps across midcourt. Goes to the far side, spreading things out, trying to get somebody big down low. There's Chucky all alone on the box. Clevenger didn't see him, but he finds Kramer. Kramer had it stolen away. Halstead. 13th turnover for the high climbers, compared to nine for Capital. Halstead finds Rydell under the basket, leaves it out there for Landers. Landers way beyond the three-point arc, throws it up top. The Popkin Jack and now Halstead. Halstead drives baseline, steps back for, for a long two that rimmed off. Rebound pulled down by Chucky Thompson. And what do we have, some moisture on the floor? Yep. Well, that's we what the do. one referee says. This is just a well-polished floor, Jerry. I don't think I've seen a, polished, a floor that's polished just about this <laughs> nicely, especially in that red underneath the basket. Beautiful floor. Well-maintained. It's Yes. I don't know how you can see any moisture, actually. <laughs> but they wiped it up, and it's high climber ball. Three and a half minutes to go in the ball game. 13-point uh, lead for Capital. Chucky will get it in to Clevenger, and here come the high climbers. It's the time to make their run, Jerry. Clevenger up the far sidelines. Looking for Ty. Gets it to Kramer. Kramer top of the key for three. Can he hit it? No, he cannot. Rebound Harvey. Right back up. And it in. <laughs> he dropped in all the way around and in. It's his fifth point of the ball game and all in the quarter. 11-point lead for Capital. Hopkin Jack is fouled by uh, Harvey. That's his third. Fourth team foul on Shelton. 
three minutes to go. Into the corner it goes to Halstead. Halstead up fake, drives and leaves it in the middle, but it goes right to Kramer. Kramer up to Clevenger. Clevenger tracks it down to the corner far side. Looking for somebody, gives it to Harvey. Harvey to tie on the box, one-on-one -on -one with Popping Dad. Turn around, missed it, got his own rebound. Kick it out to Clevenger. Clevenger for three. No. Rebound, tie over the top. He's been doing that all night, and he just got caught. That's his first personal fifth team foul. Two thirty-five to go in the ball game. 44-33. Capital with the lead in the ball. Here's Halstead crossing midcourt. High post feed to Bradsma. Hands it off to uh, Landers. Landers drawing the 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 R the ear, I guess. And here's Halstead. Halstead steps back on the dribble, throws it up to Popkin Jack, way outside. Nine on the shot clock. Here's Landers. Landers drives baseline. Runner goes in. Eight points for Max. 46-33. Here's Clevenger to the baseline. Had it poked out of his hands. Finds Chucky Thompson. Chucky up top to Harvey. Harvey for three. That's short and almost rolled in, but it rolled off. Popkin Jack with the rebound. And then he's going to be bumped and fouled. I think it's going to go on Ty Thompson. Oh, we have some blood on the floor now. Yeah, so we're on Ty Thompson, his second, sixth team foul. So who's bleeding is the question. Oh, it's uh, Rydell. He's, he's got a really, <laughs> really bad nosebleed. Engholm will step on the court for uh, Capital. Capital take a timeout, 148 to go in the game. Leading 46 to 33. We'll be right back. Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, is the only source for live high school sports broadcasts in Mason County. Join us every week this school year for another exciting game. If you want to be part of future broadcasts, contact Mason Web TV right now and become a community broadcast partner. Join the likes of Hood Canal Communications, our community credit union, and Mason General Hospital and Family of Clinics in supporting student athletes. A simple phone call, text, or email can put you in the next broadcast on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. Now, Jerry, we're back. Minute 48 to go in the ballgame. Set timer clock actually on there. 13-point lead for Capital. Rydell is out with a bloody nose. He's six foot seven. They replace him with Andrus Ingholm. He's also six foot seven, but he's a freshman. Well, it's unfortunate that uh, the high climbers have not been able to hit some of their three-point attempts this half. They've had some good looks at the basket. Landers gets it inbounds, goes to Halstead. Halstead not in any hurry to bring up the ball. Guarded by Kramer. Hands it over to Pumpkin Jack. Pumpkin Jack to the three-point arc. Trying to get Harvey to foul him, and Harvey does after he stole the ball. And that'll be four on Bo. And that was a foul to give. I, well, actually, I can't even say it was a foul to give because it's a one and one now. So Rydell does return. The freshman will sit down. At the free throw line will be uh, Connor Pumpkin Jack, first free throw. <laughs> We've only had one free throw in the entire game. That's correct. And that was by Ty Thompson, and he missed it. Now, this is the second free throw. Popkin Jack missed that one. Lane violation. Oh, they're going to say Rydell picked up his third personal foul on that one. So five team fouls on uh, Capital. Seven on Shelton. Clevenger in the front court, a minute 24 to go. Here's Chucky Thompson, up fakes, gets it out to Kramer. Kramer up top to a wide open Chucky for three at the top, and he hits it. It's his second three in the ball game. Inbounds goes to Halstead. Clim uh, climbers are all over the chasing the ball around back court. Here comes Landers crossing midcourt, loses the handle on the ball. Here comes Ty Thompson, hooks it over to Clevenger. 
up top to Chucky for another three. Nope, it's going to be Harvey for three. That's short. And it'll go out of bounds. Wow. Mad scramble, Jerry. Well, I tell you what, Shelton has not given up, and they're giving 100% effort. Inbounds goes to Halstead. He's fouled immediately, so we'll head down to the other end of the court. And a one and one to Halstead. Clevenger got the foul. That's his first. The eighth team foul. Spencer Halstead at the free throw line for the first of a one and one. Got the first one. We'll get one more. 53.6 seconds remain in the ball game. 47-36 is the score. Capital with a lead. And the Cougars, uh, Spencer Halstead, the second free throw. That one rolls in. High climbers speed up the court the other way. Here's Clevenger to Ty Thompson. Ty's going to attack the basket, try to kick it into the corner, and it's knocked out of bounds by... Oh, come now. That was clearly off of two uh, white jerseyed arms, and they're going to give that to the Cougars. Clearly off. It was. You're clearly correct. off. The, all right, Pop and Jack will get it in, and Rydell is fouled immediately. Ty will charge him with his third. You're not going to miss a shot by that much. <laughs> it wasn't a shot. He was kicking it to the corner. Yeah. It and it, it deflected. Yeah. yeah, out of the bounds, and that uh, I have I have an opinion of one of the referees, <laughs> and I won't tell you who what that is. Rydell's first free throw rolled out, rebound goes down to uh, Chucky Thompson, up to Bo Harvey. He'll stop, he'll pop for three, he'll miss it. Rebound goes to Halstead, and I think that's pretty much it at this point. But Kramer will foul Halstead. And we'll shoot another one and one. So Halstead has two free throws. He's two for two, anyways. He has what, uh, 14 points? No, 15 points. I'll add it up. Oh. Get one more after this one. One, two, three, six, eight. 17 points, now I got it. Yeah, it has to be an odd number. <laughs> I'm just adding up, he has a three, he has a bunch of threes in here, but it's four threes. And he's perfect from the free throw line. He's got a very nice shot, good shooter. Clevenger quickly up the other way for the high climber, stops, throws it across to Kramer. Kramer takes a three and rims that off, rebound, knocked out of bounds by, uh, oh, they're gonna say that was off of uh, Halstead. So it'll be uh, climber ball trailing by 14, 50 to 36, 24.4 seconds to go. Inbounds to the corner to Chucky Thompson. He's going to drive a baseline. He'll leave it for Ty. Ty to the hoop off the glass and in. That's good for Ty Thompson. Halstead will hold the ball. He's fouled by Chucky. That's two on Chucky. Well, there was a brother act. <laughs> <laughs> nice assist. So uh, Halstead back at the free throw line. First free throw rattled out. Ooh. So four for five from the foul line. 13.6 seconds remain in the ball game. And he hit the second one. Kramer gets the inbounds to t uh, Chucky. Clock's to not even running. Clavenger, no. And that should do it as a missed three. Landers comes away with a rebound. And we'll just run out the last few seconds. I guess that made it up for the uh, start of the <laughs> fourth quarter, I guess. So the final here, 50 to 38. The Cougars uh, come away with a, a win after losing to uh, Gig Harbor on Wednesday. We will take a timeout. We'll be right back with the final of uh, 51. Excuse me, 51. Didn't count that last free throw. 51 to 38 is the final score. We'll be right back.
The living room. It's a great place to watch TV. Just like your backyard, break time at the office, or waiting for your ride. Now you can watch TV everywhere. Stream your favorite shows or live TV from many channels in your cable package on any computer, tablet, or smartphone. It's all included in Hood Canal Communications TV service for no extra cost. Sign up to watch TV everywhere today. Call or visit Hood Canal Communications online to learn more. I'm Dr. Amy Maurer. I work at Olympic Physicians currently um, for Mason General Hospital, um, but we will obviously all be working for Mason Clinic here in the upcoming months. One of the things that drew me to Mason General was the fact that they're, you know, right out, out the gate, their mission statement was we put patients first. And that has always been my philosophy and that has always been my approach to, to medicine and to patient care. I feel like the best medicine is accomplished when you put patients first because then you're always motivated to do the right thing and to do the best for, for the patient. Since 1941, our community credit union has been focused on our members and helping you achieve your financial goals. At OCCU, we offer personal, mortgage, home equity, and business loans to meet your needs. Our top priority remains the same, providing personal, professional caring service to our members. Helping people is very gratifying. To be able to say I work at a place that does that every single day, I'm very proud to be a part of that. Become a member and become part of a growing, diversified family. When you call OCCU, you get a live person, not a recording. Call representatives like me are truly here for you. Dedicated to our community, last year OCCU employees volunteered over 1,700 hours to 43 service groups, schools, and community events. For over 20 years, we've been awarded the highest rating from Bauer Financial, the nation's leading bank rating and research firm. Come see the difference and give OCCU an opportunity to earn your trust. It's a final here at Capitol High School. Capitol Cougars knock off the show pie climbers 51 to 38 tonight. They did it behind uh, Spencer Halstead's 19 points, 14 for uh, Brandon Rydell, 10 for Jacob Bradsma, and 8 for Max Landers. Now, uh, Halstead hit one, two, three, four three pointers, uh, one basket, and was uh, five for six at the free throw line. That's pretty impressive for a night out. For the high climbers in a losing effort, Ty Thompson had 18 points, six for Chucky Thompson, six for Mason Kramer, five for Bo Harvey, and a three for Ethan Clevenger. Jerry, you don't look like you're done. I am done. Oh, okay, well, let's shift it over to Jerry Apple. Thanks, Deidre. Uh, first for uh, the Shelton High Climbers, they had uh, 14 turnovers. They were 14 for 46 from the field for 30%. And as far as the field goes, well, we only had one attempt. <laughs> <laughs> for free so throws. Zero for that. one. Yeah, three for, yeah, Cy Thompson had one free throw. Yeah. Now, what happened with the high climbers in the second half? They shot 20 three pointers. 20 three pointers. They only made three of those. And that's unfortunate. That was probably the key to the game right there. Uh, a lot of missed three pointers. Uh, so 30% uh, for the uh, uh, high climbers from the field. And like I said, they had 14 turnovers. Uh, Ford Capital. They were 18 for 42, 43%. They made six of 16 
from the three-point line. And they made five for eight from the uh, foul line. And of course, that was number 12, Spencer Halstead, who was five for six from the foul line. What a pretty shot. Yeah, he's a very impressive player. <laughs> I was also very impressed with Rydell. He made, he made six of 10 attempts. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's very good. Well, most of those were near the basket anyways, but yeah. I mean, he's six, what, not six, seven, six, seven? Yeah, he's yeah. six, seven. Yeah. And uh, Spencer Halstead also had uh, uh, four three-pointers, and Landers had two. I thought Landers did a very nice job coming off as a sixth man yeah. for the Capitol Cougars. Um, Ty Thompson had a, uh, a good game. You know, you look at, uh, he uh, took 15 attempts from the, um, from the two point area, from the key, uh, mostly layups. And of those 15 shots that he attempted, he made eight. Okay. That's pretty darn good. That's over, you know, very good, over 50%. Um, and the high climbers had uh, 14 turnovers, uh, which is not too bad. No, what did Capital end up with? Capital ended up with only, only 10. And uh, they had four of those turnovers in the second half. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So they cut down their turnovers right, a little right. bit. So, anyway, it was uh, a, a fun night <laughs> listening to the great music. All right, and they're still going. They don't want to go home. Oh, they are. <laughs> they're good. And uh, what a big crowd tonight. Right. And this is a, in, in, in a small gym. Yes. And it's, it's just, it's a great Friday night atmosphere. It is. So next up for Shelton, they host Central Kitsap Wednesday, and Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, will ha be on hand for that game in the Mini Dome. Uh, uh, Capital travels to Yelm on Wednesday. Our next broadcast is tomorrow as the Shelton girls host Capital. Tip-off in the Mini Dome is set for 7 p.m., and we'll uh, have that, as I mentioned, on <laughs> Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. You have anything else, Jerry? Well, I'm looking forward to the game tomorrow night. Okay. You know, the girls came off of a win against uh, North Thurston. Is that yes, correct? That's correct. Well, that's good. So we'll talk to you tomorrow night about 6.45. So that will do it for us tonight. My thanks to Jerry Apple for his help, as always, with these broadcasts. And thank you for clicking on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC for high school basketball. Final score, Capital 51, Shelton 38. And I'm not ready for this, so I kind of make a quick little change. If my thing will... Uh, there it is. We'll, t we'll talk to you tomorrow, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. This broadcast on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, was made possible by our community credit union. Community is in our name and in the work we do every day. Mason General Hospital and Family of Clinics, now known as Mason Health. United community, empowered people, exceptional health. And Hood Canal Communications, keeping our community connected since 1934. Thanks for watching Mason Web TV, powered by HCC.